Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and this is just a quick guide to let you know all about the different spawn rates of special characters in Animal Crossing New Horizons for the Nintendo Switch. All credit for this information goes to Ninji, who is a data miner who went and mined this data out that we can tell you about now. Link to their social media in the description below. So what actually constitutes a special character in Animal Crossing New Horizons? Well, it's characters like Sahara, Kix, Leaf, Gulliver, Label, CJ, Flick, Jolly Red, Wisp, Daisy May, and KK Slider. In fact, that's all of them. And before now, we just assumed it was pretty much random and you just get a random one every day. But it turns out that's not the case. It's a little bit more complicated and better. Every week, you're absolutely 100% guaranteed to get Sahara, Kicks, and Leaf on weekdays. That means that there are two weekday slots that will be randomly filled by Gulliver, Label, CJ Flick, or Jolly Red. Which, yeah, there's five of them. That's annoying, isn't it? However, the ones that you miss out on on any given week will be given priority the following week. So, for example, let's say you got Gulliver and CJ one week. Next week, you wouldn't get Gulliver or CJ, you'd get Label, Flick or Red. Well, two of them. Celeste appears on days with meteor showers that are happening, and indeed also just certain clear nights. Believe me, I've only had Celeste appear when it's been a clear night, I've not yet had a meteor shower. Her appearing is entirely separate to all the other ones, so she's not going to interfere with anything, thankfully. Wisp will just pick a random day and just appear after 8pm, just as the ghost that they are. They'll just appear. And again, it's entirely separate to the other ones, so they're not going to be conflicting, which is good. And of course, KK Slider appears on Saturday and Daisy May appears on Sunday. The, the weekends kind of don't come into it. It's interesting to see how this all works, and it's good to know that there is at least something going on to try and prevent uh, quote-unquote bad luck if you're waiting for Flick to sell a load of tarantulas or something, you know, just pulling something out of the air. And there you have it. Just a quick little guide to detail how it all happens, because it is tremendously interesting. Thank you Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you wait patiently for weeks on end, waiting for the learnt subscribe button to turn up, and be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.